I'm here because I'm compelled to be here through an ever-strengthening bond, if you like, by the forest itself. There's nowhere in our country more intriguing than the centrepiece of the oldest rainforest in the world. When this property was compulsorily World Heritage listed, the owners at the time were essentially put out of business and my family was living nearby watching this episode unfold and thought it would be a, an interesting challenge to manage Australia's first privately owned World Heritage property and in the process become World Heritage inhabitants. And so for the last 25 years we've been living inside a World Heritage area, indulging in enthusiasms to try and know this incredibly complex and ancient rainforest. The more I search for understanding of this rainforest, the more impacted I am by the existence of a, a kind of a chemical conversation that ties everything into its requisite role for a successful ecosystem. There's a, an underlying tempo of competitiveness that has played out longer than any other ecosystem on the planet, and this is reflected in the exquisite successfulness of the various species animals that are etched into an almost invisible concealment within the landscape. The bird dropping crab spider is an excellent exponent of mimicry. No self-respecting bird is going to go foraging around in its own fecal matter, but a fly will. And uh, not only does it look like a bird dropping, it also enhances the mimicry by etching onto the leaf a perfect depiction of a splatter mark through the deployment of very white silk. When we present a cryptic spider to a, a group of travellers, to bring a group of people together down to a, a level of intricacy that requires intense concentration, and for one by one to finally recognise the spider, then it's a, a shared moment of discovery, which for the most part you, you would describe as astonishing. Uh, the, the bird dropping spider is kind of in a class of its own. That tends to bring out um, a different expression of delight. <laughs> I would think that in my 25 years of scrutiny of this rainforest that maybe as much as half of everything I've seen, I've seen once only. I don't know that there's any forest in the world that's more successful in con concealing its incredible occupancy.